Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, and the great ships which sail through the sea with that which benefits people, and what Allah has sent down from the heavens of rain, giving life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness and dispersing therein every kind of moving creature, and his directing of the winds and the clouds controlled between the heaven and earth are signs for a people who use reason. It is he who enables you to travel on land and sea until, when you are in ships and they sail with them by a good wind and they rejoice therein, there comes a storm wind and the waves come upon them from everywhere and they assume that they are surrounded supplicating Allah, sincere to him in religion. If you should save us from this, we will surely be among the thankful. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth and sent down rain from the sky and produced thereby some fruits as provision for you and subjected for you the ships to sail through the sea by his command and subjected for you the rivers. And it is he who subjected the sea for you to eat from it tender meat and to extract from it ornaments which you wear. And you see the ships plowing through it, and he subjected it that you may seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. It is your Lord who drives the ship for you through the sea that you may seek of his bounty. Indeed, he is ever to you merciful. So they set out, until when they had embarked on the ship, Al Khadr tore it open. Moses said, Have you torn it open to drown its people? You have certainly done a grave thing. As for the ship, it belonged to poor people working at sea, so I intended to cause defect in it, as there was after them a king who seized every good ship by force. Do you not see that Allah has subjected to you whatever is on the earth and the ships which run through the sea by his command? and he restrains the sky from falling upon the earth, unless by his permission. Indeed, Allah, to the people, is kind and merciful, and on them and on ships you are carried. And when they board a ship, they supplicate Allah, sincere to him in religion. But when he delivers them to the land, at once they associate others with him. And of his signs is that he sends the winds as bringers of good tidings, and to let you taste his mercy, and so the ships may sail at his command, and so you may seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. Do you not see that ships sail through the sea by the favor of Allah, that he may show you of his signs? Indeed, in that are signs for everyone patient and grateful. And not alike are the two bodies of water. One is fresh and sweet, palatable for drinking, and one is salty and bitter. And from each you eat tender meat and extract ornaments which you wear, and you see the ships plowing through them that you might seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. And a sign for them is that we carried their forefathers in a laden ship, mentioned when he ran away to the laden ship. And for you therein are other benefits, and that you may realize upon them a need which is in your breasts, and upon them and upon ships you are carried. Of his signs are the ships in the sea, like mountains, who created the species, all of them, and has made for you of ships and animals those which you mount. It is Allah who subjected to you the sea, so that ships may sail upon it by his command, and that you may seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. And to him belong the ships with sails elevated in the sea like mountains, 